This question is the most frequently asked question if there ever was one. What do you do with your hair every day? There is no benefits that you do to your hair when you moisturize your hair between a wash day. What do you do with your hair at night? People refuse to believe that I actually do not moisturize my hair. What do you do to your hair when you wake up in the morning? Here is my best kept secret. My relaxed hair routine. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Kaizen Tsukho and if you are new here, hello. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, hey girl, hey. So in today's video, I am covering and giving you all of my relaxed hair secrets, my hair tips, my tricks. I'm telling you every single thing that I do from the moment I open my eyes and sleep and everything else in between regarding and relating to my relaxed hair journey. If this sounds like something you've been waiting for, buckle up. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I hope you stay a while. Let's get into the video. Some of the answers to these questions are going to be concise, one word answers or a sentence, and others are going to require me to give you some detailed feedback. Whether it's short or it's long, I can guarantee that you will leave here knowing exactly what I do in order to upkeep my hair and have it looking all cute and healthy and long <laughs> and all i can hope is that by applying the same thinking and the same strategies that you can get outputs that will bring out the best in your hair notice me emphasizing the best out of your hair and not having your hair look like mine So the first question that I get most often is how often am I relaxing my hair? So I maintain a 10 to 12 week schedule. I will not relax my hair before 10 weeks or before 12 weeks. But last year I experimented with a five month stretch and I absolutely loved it. And so did my hair and my hair grew immensely from that. So that's essentially what I'm doing. Am I gonna try another five months this year? The answer is absolutely yes so i'm going to be incorporating and considering and playing around with a few protective styles uh, so if you're interested to see what i land on the frequency stay tuned to the channel and subscribe Question number two, where do I do my hair and why? I do my hair at a salon called Studio 353. It is in Santon, so the north of Johannesburg. So the reason why I go to Studio 353, apart from it being accessible and close to where I live, the people who work at that salon are incredibly knowledgeable. They have amazing technique. The tools that are used are premium. The products that they use are premium products and they prioritize your hair health above anything else. And it's very rare to find a salon that does that. This question is the most frequently asked question if there ever was one. What am I doing between wash days? Please can you post an everyday hair routine? What do you do with your hair every day? What do you do with your hair at night? What do you do to your hair when you wake up in the morning? People refuse to believe that I actually do not moisturize my hair. A lot of people also, I think that this question also ties into what do you do? How, what moisturizer do you use for your hair? Because my hair is dry. Let me answer this question. It won't be the last time. It won't be the first time. I do not believe in moisturizing relaxed hair. This is not how I prefer to wear my hair. This is not how I prefer my relaxed hair to feel. My stylist aligns with this philosophy. So we are all aligned in this ecosystem of Tsukho's hair. I don't relax, I don't, I don't moisturize my hair. I don't believe in moisturizing hair. Um, I believe that you should be applying moisture during your wash days and as a result if your hair is dry you need to wash it and moisturize it and that is the only time you really should be moisturizing your hair so to answer that question which is basically answering two questions in one what do i do between wash days nothing low manipulation if i'm curling my hair i'm curling my hair once and not again if i'm blow drying my hair i'm blow drying my hair once in that week and not again if my hair wakes up and i have a bump i'm wearing i'm putting it in a bun if I wake up and my hair is straight, I will wear it down. Literally, I do what my hair wants me to do with it. I listen to my hair and that's what I do. If my hair is dry, I am washing it on that day because clearly the moisture is over. 
There is no benefit that you do to your hair when you moisturize your hair between a wash day. Okay, let me say that again. There is no benefit in moisturizing your hair between a wash day. That was much more succinct the second time around. And let me tell you why. The same principle that you use when your hair is natural is the same principle and philosophy that you must use when your hair is relaxed. You don't apply oil willy-nilly to your dry natural hair, so why do you do it to your relaxed hair? All you'll end up with is dirty hair that is now oily and greasy and has build up. So this is why I do not believe in moisturizing my hair because what am I moisturizing? The hair already as it is, is integrally dry and moisturizer is not gonna fix that, okay? It's just gonna make it drier, dirtier, smellier if you do that. So if you are a hair moisturizer, I implore you to reconsider. <laughs> so that's the answer. I find this, I find the reason why I'm laughing is because the reaction and the responses I get when I tell people I don't moisturize my hair is really funny because I think we grew up moisturizing our relaxed hair every day. Like, you know, the pink moisturizer, the dark and lovely one, just for me, beautiful beginnings. And look at how that turned out. That's all I'll say. <laughs> we all went natural, right? Right. So now with this new wave of knowing how to care, truly care for relaxed hair, I would only hope that we do it the right way. And I have found that not moisturizing daily is the right way. The next question that I get is, what protective styles should you be doing or do I do and which do I prefer? I prefer any protective style that still allows you to care for your hair underneath it. Uh, that you can keep for a long time so that you are manipulating your hair much less. I also lean towards protective styles that protect the hairline. And lastly, I do protective hairstyles that can allow me to go and work out. <laughs> so with that said, and having mentioned my criteria, I prefer to not protective style. And if I will protective style, I prefer wigs. And then lastly, braids because of the criteria that I had just mentioned before. Can I access my hair easily? How long can I keep it in for? Is it invasive to my hairline? Does it align with my workout schedule and lifestyle? So, yeah. The next question that I get is, how do I sleep with my hair to make sure that it is straight? There are a few techniques that you can try. You can try wrapping your hair, which is when you kind of comb your hair all around into like a nice circular donut and then you put a duck on. What I normally do is I will put my hair up in a loose bun. I really do like texture in my hair, so it doesn't bother me that my hair is a bit wavy the next day. I like it like that. Another thing that I've done, and I've actually spoken to Sis Busi about it, I got it from her. She said that when she had relaxed hair, she would just use a satin pillowcase and, and comb her hair up and sleep like that so that her hair is above. Um, I tried that and I loved it. And I think for the girlies who struggle to wrap, and who don't want the bump, maybe try and sleep like that um, and see if that does work for you because it definitely worked for me. I, I loved it. The next question, how do I go to the gym with my hair? I use this, especially when my growth starts coming through, you'll find that you usually do sweat out your hair. And obviously because you've relaxed your hair and your hair naturally has a curly texture, what you find is that you will do a silk press, but if you sweat, your roots are gonna revert and you will have some growth coming through. I use this, it's just a regular black headband and I put it to kind of keep my hair flat when I am in the gym and working out. I do not take this off until my hair is dry. This is what I wear and it literally keeps my hair flat. It's brilliant, it's the best trick in the game. The next question that I get a lot is, how often do I wash my hair? I wash my hair once a week. I find that if I stretch it out for longer, I, the growth is unbearable. My hair breaks because it's obviously very dry at that point. And if I wash more frequently, that also does tend to dry my hair out, but also it doesn't align with my 
time. I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> so I can't be washing my hair midweek unless I absolutely have to. If I have a lot of build up, then I'll make those kind of exceptions. If I've had a hectic gym week, I will make those kind of exceptions. Otherwise, I keep it to every weekend, either a Friday, a Saturday, or a Sunday, I will wash my hair every week. Consistency is key. This one I think I may have covered, like how often do I braid my hair, as in when. The minute, I do this like with my natural hair, the minute I get irritated with my hair and I feel like I'm not patient with it, I'm starting to do a little bit of ripping and tugging, I know it is time to tuck it away and protect me from myself. And that's when I will usually protective style my hair. How often do I trim my hair? I trim my hair at this moment twice a year. It's important not to trim your hair more than your hair grows. So look at how much your hair is growing. If your hair is damaged, that's the only exception when you should be trimming more. But if your hair is healthy, look at how long your hair is growing and trim less so that you don't trim your growth, obviously. I think the last point is the point that I'm gonna really do a deep dive into, and that's essentially what products am I using. So I'm gonna start from before I wash my hair all the way to the end of the wash day. Um, and I'm gonna read this out because I'm out of time. So with regards to caring for my scalp, because that was the biggest change from my natural hair to my relaxed hair, I developed a really dry, flaky scalp. I have now started using a product by Christophe Robin. It is his detox scalp scrub, and it is amazing. I also use the As I Am co-wash, from the tea tree oil range that I've actually had in some of my videos. After my wash days, I now use the Mazzani oil and I will show you guys as well. That really has helped to regenerate and replenish my scalp. And um, just a note, if your scalp is flaky, it's time to wash your hair. It is not time to base it with the Mazzani scalp oil. Okay, okay. So to pre-poo, I am using Mazzani and I will show you the product that I'm using. And I also use Moroccan oil, but I prefer Mazzani. I feel like it's just more nourishing and it's less of a putting oil on dry hair situation. The shampoo and conditioner, I played around with a lot, but the ones that I've landed on that I absolutely love are by a brand called Rawa. Um, I love their classic shampoo and conditioner. Mazzani as well as a win. When I use that in the salon, my hair just says yes. And then as I am as well as a really good brand to try out, which is more of a drugstore kind of um, brand, so a bit more accessible. But I think in everything, the golden thread is ensuring that your conditioner and your shampoo are moisturizing. So I've kind of left the whole protein um, treatment situation, especially since my Olaplex experience and I now just focus on ensuring that I inject moisture at every step of my entire hair routine and my hair has been thriving and it's been happy since. When it comes to leave-in and the oil that I use, Rawa as well, I love the Rawa leave-in treatments. I feel like it just does exactly what my hair, it gives my hair exactly what it needs and I've also been using the Olaplex oil. Um, that one has also been quite effective so Depending on my hair need and what and what I am looking to achieve from a style, I will alternate between those two, but Rawa always after I wash my hair as a leave-in conditioner. And the Olaplex oil, maybe if my hair is a bit on the dry side or not as shiny. Okay, from a relaxer perspective, the relaxer that I'm using is Mazzani. I think this is also a question that I get a lot. When I first transitioned from, from natural to relaxed hair, I use Dark and Lovely, but now I am using Mazzani. But I feel like it's important to actually go into the salon and have them assess your hair and they'll tell you the exact hair relaxer that you should be using for your hair. But within Mazzani, obviously you have your lie, you have your no lie, and you also have different like strengths. So if your hair is thick, you'll use like the regular strength. If for example, um, you have sensitive scalp, they might use no lye on your hair instead of lye. So they will be the ones who um, assess your hair and tell you which relaxer to use. But the one thing that I will urge you to do is always stick 
to that same relaxer, that same formulation in the same strength and your hair results will always be the same and consistent. Because if you think about it, if you keep jumping around and you're using different relaxers from different brands and different hairstylists to apply different techniques, that will make your hair susceptible to breakage and that's something that you definitely do not want. So try to keep things as consistent as possible, but also within means. So if it is a thing that you can financially sustain, then do the high-end luxury products, you know, and hair salons. But if it isn't, try and find out what is a happy medium. Where can you sacrifice from a quality perspective or from a frequency perspective so that you can always be giving your hair the best that you can give it. And then lastly, what are the heat styling tools that I am using for my hair? Uh, definitely Revlon, and if you wanna see which ones in the Revlon line, I've got this video over here. And I also use a GHD straightener. I highly recommend GHD straighteners because you don't need to fuss around with the heat. They give you the heat that is recommended for your hair and therefore you have a lower likelihood of burning your hair especially if you do use a heat protectant. But um, my plan is to actually transition from Revlon and explore more GHD products as well as Dyson products. I'm definitely gonna make a transition to more like salon and professional style and grade tools for my hair because I have noticed that that has made quite a big difference and it does make quite a big difference um, to your hair and to your hair health. If you are looking for a practical application of all the things that I've covered, seeing it all in action, seeing how I take care of my hair, you can watch this video over here. So if that sounds like something that you are keen to explore, now that you know my hair routine in theory, then go ahead and click on this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe down below. And until the next time, love you, bye. Ciao for now.